One, two, three, go! Hi, I'm Tom, the inventor of hat hair. Hi, I'm Galen. I invented post-its. Actually, I invented a special kind of glue. <laughs> Welcome to 15 Minutes of Fume, apostrophe, fume, as in perfume, presented by Black Phoenix Alchemy Lab. We're still perfuming right on through the end times. <sighs> we are here today uh, to talk about our Shunga collection. If you are not aware, uh, the Shungas are Edo-era erotic art from uh, Japan. So I don't know anything about Japan or Japanese culture or history or art. Uh, but we do this collection, uh, our perfumer goes through and looks at ancient uh, pictures of people doing it or erotic fantasies and then generates perfumes inspired by those. Uh, all of which are not safe for work uh, when you're browsing on our website. However, work is largely cancelled and mostly people are laying around looking at dicks and cats and then dicks again or whatever you're looking at. So you can uh, browse the artwork along with us by going to the link for the Shungas in our Instagram profile or in the uh, caption of the YouTube video and you can look at it, uh, blow it up big on that monitor or like, or don't. Or, or you can do like us and look at the label from a distance through your imaginary bifocals. Maybe it's better that way. It could be better that way. We're Some gonna, of these are very unforgettable. Models. We're going to jump in and find out, shall we? All right. Okay, first let's look at some of the uh, hair gloss blends because first of the labels are bigger. It's easier on grandma's eyes. <laughs> uh, what's not easier on grandma's eyes are the various penises on display on the Pardon? label for the label for various penises. I'm sorry, I didn't quite catch that. Here. Psst. Uh, the, the, various uh, penises. Various penises. Varios penises. Um, this is, a. Uh, it does what it says on the tin, is what we'll say about that. This is a kind of a musky, sweet vanilla with, uh, is it, I got it right here. Various penises. Oh, it's like on my computer screen. Kapow, right in the eye. Uh, <laughs> it burns. Uh, burnt cocoa bean. There you go. Uh, this is kind of what I think like you would imagine like pe uh, various penises would smell like. It's like the fantasy version. Um, the reality is less less good. Um, wh which is your favorite penis on the label? Don't make me choose. Okay. That's like asking me which uh, favorite, which is my favorite chocolate in the box, and you know I just have to bite them all first and see what's in there. Okay, no, 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 no. We have to move on. <laughs> uh... uh <laughs> Okay, speaking of party tricks, uh, the next uh, hair gloss that we're looking at is called Party Tricks. Uh, this is a depiction... What kind of party? Oh, it's that kind of party. It's that kind of party. It's the kind of party where, like, you feel that the party might turn into that kind of party, so you leave, you know, like, early. You get the vibes. Because you like, know if you hang around, the host is going to be like... Why are all those keys in that hey, hole? Hey, stay a while. Um, so we're looking at a depiction of... Just all sorts of t tricks that you could do at a party. Like there's a, for example, your <laughs> penis might get gigantically huge and then look at you with a judging face painted on it. Again, if you don't understand what we're talking about, go look at that label art. Yeah, go take a look. Um, you might see uh, someone bending over with eyes painted on their butt cheeks to make a funny face because... That's a party trick. If I want to lighten the mood at a party, um, that's... That'll do it. That'll just change someone's whole evening. I'll be honest, I'm not much for parties in general, but I'm definitely not going to this one. But I will smell it. The scent is, um, the first note listed is That's strawberry nice. juice. It is, like, it is like a, uh, like a punch. Almost. Yeah, yeah. Like, I'll have some of the punch, and then I will quietly leave. Pour your own glass of punch and yes. hang on to that glass. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do that. Lest you end up painting the butt cheeks uh, <laughs> of another guest. Oh, well, I was going to say your own butt cheeks. Oh. It's hard to do. I can't imagine. this. I wish, actually, that I thought I had and painted eyes and I could just turn around and be like, woo! Uh, didn't think of it till now. You're welcome. Let's see what I pulled. Well, we got Cheerful Oxen, which, uh, on the label, it looks like a couple asleep on a big old ox. Oh, no. Zoom in there. Zoom right in on there. Oh, they're There's... not asleep. Well, I mean... Maybe. I hope that they're either both awake or both asleep, let's just say. It's ha like there's the, a, a, a coupling happening, and uh, they're curled up on their oxen, and the oxen 
is smiling. It's important to note that the oxen is smiling. It is cheerful. And that also no one is doing anything to the oxen other than kind of using it as like a, like a, like a leverage. The I oxen know. just happens to be in the room. This happens in rural communities all the time. No, I'm just kidding. I'm from farm people. My grandparents had a cattle ranch. Uh, to my knowledge, this never happens. Um, and I just want people to be very clear that, uh, I mean, we don't even know if the oxen is real. It could be like a, a, a plushie. We've got some like hay in there. We've got the oud for kind of a bit of that barnyard note. It's like a warm musky brown. Patchouli. Patchouli. Is patchouli in there? Yeah. So you better yeah, believe absolute. there's some patchouli in there. Yeah, it is a nice, sweet, musky musk. Uh, you know, kind of like a, an ox, but like sweeter. Yeah. and like, Happy. I, like, I feel Cheerful. like when I wear this, I'm the ox and I'm just like... Smiling. Y'all... Nervously. Lock up when you're done. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna go hang out outside. Will you use the barn? <laughs> <laughs> you could have just told me and I would... Never mind. I could have worked um, out a schedule. While we're looking at animals, this is funny because uh, I know... Uh, so Elizabeth, our perfumer, when she's going through the artwork and everything, and she's still... I mean, there's a lot of stuff that is inappropriate by today's standards to share, and we try to be sensitive to that to the extent that we can while doing this absurd thing. But... Um, she sent me this one, which is uh, dalliance with an amorous bat demon, and she was really concerned that, about putting like a, a bestiality scene out there. And mm -hmm. I was like, okay, this bat in the illustration, it's like a bat that has swooped a woman up and is like in mid flight, like it's a big bat nuzzling her. It's not a like little bat. So I was, I said, Elizabeth, there no one, there's no, <laughs> I don't think anyone's worried about an eight foot bat out there being. Like taken advantage of this is like really like firmly in the realm of the supernatural mm -hmm. so uh, I want you to know that we do oh, consider these things when we're putting a product out there um, like if you look closely in the artwork online you can see that the woman's foot is can actually like probably fit inside the bat's ear all the way up almost to the knee um, it's wow. a demon and it has like a really good demonic it's got that uh, it's another uh, patchouli with uh, benzoin, labdanum, and sandalwood. So a really brown, smoky... Like, the, the bat is the aggressor here, for sure. The, the demon, I'm sorry. I need to... Sweet, smoky mess. We need to make it very clear. Uh, this is not a real bat. This is a bat demon. This is a bat demon. Um, what else you got? Well, to stick with the theme, cherry blossoms... Uh, I picked cherry blossoms in a waterfall. Let's see what it smells like. I'm hoping it's pretty accurate. Oh, you're doing this incredibly like, fresh. I love this like theatrics of like you've never smelled this before. Like never. it's like we're truly venturing into QVC QVC territory where it's like, what could this possibly smell like? Like we haven't just been sitting here bored for weeks at this point, just being like, like I haven't smelled this like a million times already. Yeah. We've got Diana from Akron, Ohio on the line. <laughs> Diana? She loves cherry blossoms in a waterfall. Um, anyway, so the image I'm is... I'm learning a lot about Diana from this shocking. image. Shocking! Um, would you like to describe it? Uh, you're the one who picked it. <laughs> uh, that's true. Uh, let's say that there is a couple, and they're uh, getting frisky, and there is a hand maybe going somewhere. Maybe coming out maybe of somewhere. Maybe coming out of somewhere. There's... A waterfall. You'll have to look. I feel you like I picked the theme for this video specifically to make you uncomfortable. Right. And it's, but anyway, the smell is really nice. The smell is really Very nice. Very fresh. It's like a Cherry cascade of wet blossoms. In a waterfall. I chose to focus on this perfume called The Challenge of the Ascetic, which I don't know if you've heard the saying, uh, when you look into the abyss, the abyss also looks into you. So now, like, imagine the abyss is a vagina belonging to a person who must be like about 120 feet high who's reclined back and you're just like there's a robed person just sitting and staring into it contemplating the mysteries mm -hmm. and like mm -hmm. i see why because i'm confused there's a lot to wonder about in this uh, how that person gets so big 
Or this other person, how did they get so small? Right, I don't know what's going on here in terms of scale. It really is like a metaphysical problem, you know, about uh, macrocosm versus microcosm. In any event, the scent itself is a sandalwood incense with frankincense and tea leaf, uh, an aloes wood, which is, I don't think, a note that we use very much, but it is really like a meditation blend. Like, this is something... Uh, oh, very much. It's very still, very calm, very relaxing which you're gonna need if you're perched in front of a view like that because I feel like otherwise you would be hyperventilating and maybe a little clammy. That was a maybe an unfortunate choice of words. What else have I got? Oh, okay, so we got um, Igu Yomi, which is one of the lab's juiciest, wettest peach smells that we've ever done. I feel like this is maybe the scent that I thought something like our impeachment blend would be. Um, this is just like getting slapped in the face with a wet peach. Whoa. Um, not that I know from experience, but the label I think is really interesting because, well, okay, so it's not super interesting to me because, um, I'm not offended by heterosexuality, um, but I don't really, um, know that much about it, and I have tried to stay, you know, relatively pure from its rampant influences. So Your business, you guys. Yeah, well, I mean, you know, no judgment, um, but like... Why are you rubbing it in my face? So in this instance, that's exactly what we're seeing here. It's like a very large knob of uh, someone and then like, you know, right at kind of the moment of impact. And it's like maybe a missionary style position. I hear everyone loves that. So I just like it's kind of like this beautiful, clean, juicy, like breath of... Um, anticipation before like the thing that supposedly everyone is doing out there actually happens that is very peachy i've been wearing it uh, a lot in the last week and just loving it um and i'm straight now uh and then uh finally i think the last one that we have picked here um do you want to tell tell us about what you see there well here on the label i see a couple doing it Shocker. Uh, no, they're not doing the shocker. Where's the... Oh, no. Um, they're not... Um, it's actually crazier than that. Um, it's called rope pulley, but where's the rope? Oh, so is that the rope? That is the rope. So what you're oh, seeing here rope. is... So it's like a middle-aged couple uh, in uh, flagrante delicto. Their limbs rigid with arthritis. Yes. Um, and they're suspended in midair by a rope going up and then to a pulley off screen that's then down, so a person behind a screen is levitating them. So I would, I don't know, under, I don't understand this at all. Again, um, you know, first time caller, long time listener in the heterosexual news network, but the, um, it seems like it would give you the feeling of weightlessness, except for they're kind of hanging together, like, you know, like two rats in a bag. Yeah. Uh, it's just very charming. It makes me wonder, though, it gives me that feeling that I had when I was, like, 13 seeing scenes in movies where I'm just like, is that, is that what it's going to be like? And so looking at, like, you know, I don't have a lot of older role models in terms of, like, se human sexuality. Um, I'm hoping someone will let us know, like, is this what you do? Is this how it's done? But on to the smell. <laughs> oh, What's I that? love this. So this is, um, this is a marshmallow with a strawberry pulp and cream. Um, the strawberry is getting pulped, it's getting creamed, the marshmallows are flo flying around. <laughs> They're flying around. Watch I'm out! some of this on right now. <laughs> <laughs> ah! Ah! The strawberry has been pulped and the marshmallows are flying. This is QVC. It has, it really does have a nice like lift to it. Yeah, it's it's, it's great. Is that like, is that like placebo effect? Is it psychosomatic? <laughs> Maybe. I couldn't say. All I know is you're not getting your security deposit back. Uh, like, e even if it's like a load-bearing beam, I wouldn't risk it. So. Rope fully. This is all that we picked out to talk about for now. There are tons more of these Shunga perfumes and lots more smut to go look at. So mm -hmm. go and have a gander. Um, let us know what we should have covered. Um, uh, <laughs> just go nuts. <laughs> Thank you so much to everyone who has been commenting and subscribing to our channel and making us feel like someone actually cares about all of this. I know you're very bored and we too are very bored and we wish we could give you a hug. Um, but 
that could be months or even years away at this point. So, so let's so, talk about how perfume smells to you. And describe centuries-old pornography. This is Tom and Galen. We're 15 Minutes of Fume. 